Chapter on what has been related about cupping. Anis narrated the Prophet, peace be upon him, would get cupped in his jugular veins and his upper back, and he would get cupped on the 17th of the month or the 19th and or the 21st. This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Footnote See Al Sahihain, hadiths number 908 and 622, where Shaykh Al Albani graded it sahih. Comments Cupping on the neck between the jugular veins in the upper part of the neck is an extremely effective cure for ailments of the head as well as head related parts such as the face, tongue, ear, nose, and throat if they were caused by the excess of blood. Ibn Mas'ud said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him narrated about the night of Isra saying that he did not pass an assembly of angels except that they ordered him order a cupping among your ummah. This hadith is graded ta'if or weak. Footnote This narration has also been graded sahih by many scholars including Sheikh Al-Albani. Comments It is necessary to give due consideration to factors like the time, place, and age of the person concerned before going for cupping. Cupping in hot climates would be very effective. See Ibn al-Qayyim's Tlib al-Nabawi Urdu translation by Azizur Rahman Az Zami, page 128 to 136. Abbad bin Mansur narrated from Ikrimah who said, Ibn Abbas had three boys who were cuppers. He would use the proceeds from two of them for himself and his family, and one of them would cup him and his family. He said, Ibn Abbas said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, How excellent is the slave who cups, letting the blood, relieving the back, and clearing the vision, and he said, Indeed, the best for you to cup on are the 17th, the 19th, and the 21st. And he said, Indeed, the best of what you treat with is as-sa'ut, al-ladud, cupping, and laxatives. And indeed, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was given medicine by al-Abbas and his companions. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Who gave me this medicine? All of them were silent. So he said that there shall not remain anyone in the house, but he should be treated with ladud, except for his uncle Al-Abbas. And Nadr said, Al-Wadud is Al-Wajur. This hadith is greater da'if, or weak. Footnote Al-Wajur is an oral medicine. See Lisan Al-Arab, 